guys, welcome to Tech Game 180. Today I've got a review and unboxing of the smartwatch. And basically this is a Bluetooth smartwatch. And what a smartwatch is, is it's a watch that basically allows you to control some of the features on your phone. So like music shuffling, reading a text message, controlling some apps I believe also, and also it's a watch. And so basically it's like the next generation of the watches. Um, there is a lot of there is a lot more smartwatches coming out on the market today, like the maybe the more recognisable like the Pebble smartwatch by Samsung, and also rumoured the or the iWatch by Apple. So basically, what I'm going to do in this video is take a look around the box, and then inside the box, what you get what you get with the smartwatch, and then we're going to give the smartwatch a test and see how well it does. So let's begin. So on the box, as you can see on the front, it's basically got a picture of the watch there, center with uh, one of the watch faces. I believe the watch faces you can change in the settings of the watch. And then it tells you some of the stuff what the watch can do. So it, it can be, it can shuffle free music. Uh, it's got a micro USB and that is to charge it. Uh, it can do notifications, so this can also do Facebook notifications as well as text, and also it can be used as a hands-free. So I didn't know that it can actually be used as a hands-free. That's really cool. And then on the side, it's got the smartwatch with Chinese writing and a, I believe that is the app what you have to download, so you can link it up with your phone, because it does say APK there. I will check and I will be able to tell you. This does work with uh, most Phones it works with the Apple iPhone 4S. Uh, I'm not sure about the 5, I believe it does. I believe it says on the back, so I'll check that out in a second. But it does work with all the Samsung Galaxy S4s and the latest S5, it does work with them. So on the top of the box, it just says smartwatch, and then on the other side, it's co it comes in colours. It says the colours, I don't know why white's been marked in there because it's not white in the box, it's black. I've already checked on that. Then on the back, it tells you where everything is on the watch. So, like it says LED, the main LED on the front, speaker, so speakers inside. So I'm not sure if you can play actually music directly at that without having your headphones in like. I'm not too sure about that. Volume, the OK answer button, so that's that. Uh, the mic is there, the reset button, the USB, return hang up, so that's that. The volume, the power home and LED. So now let's actually get into it. So as you can see here is the smartwatch itself, it is in packaging, I'm just going to leave that in the packaging while we just take a look what else is in the box. Okay. okay, so all you do get in the box is the, the micro USB to charge it and some instructions. Uh, they do come in Chinese and English, I'm not sure how well the English is translated, but shouldn't be that bad it look it looks okay just i've just had a quick brief look and it does look well translated nothing too hard to understand about it and here is the micro usb i believe it's it's just a standard micro usb just charging you don't get a wall adapter for it but i have but you should have plenty around with the latest log chargers they all come with usbs now so that's not a problem but as you can see it's a usb it's a, just a micro USB adapter, so nothing special about that. So now let's actually move on to the watch. So as you can see, it's really nice. It's a nice looking watch. One of the things I do like about this watch is basically I can actually fit it on my wrist. Because I've got large wrists, I find wearing watches quite uncomfortable because I can't usually get them to fit perfect. But this actually does come in a lot of sizes and the holes on it are really are really good and it does fit my wrist really nicely really comfortable another thing is about the actual watch strap it's got holes more or less all the way down to the bottom so anybody can fit it on and also close to the top so even your kids could wear one of these so that's really nice and also the watch strap is not actually going to hurt you because it's made out of a rubber sort of a nice feeling rubber so it's really quite it's quite stretchy, I'd say uh, stretchy, so it's stretchy a little bit as well. So that's really nice. And now let's take a look at the actual watch. So as you can see, it's just got a screen protect on. What I'm going to do is just remove that. Okay, guys. So what I am going to do is I'm going to pair this watch on. I'm going to find out how to pair it on and pair it to my device. And then we're going to take a look at how well it functions with the phone. So 
back in a sec. Okay guys, I'm back. I've just set up the watch, set it all up. You did actually have to download the app on the phone. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at the app on the phone, what you did have to download. What you will need to do is you will need to download a QR scanner if you haven't got one and basically scan the box and then it will take you to a website. And basically it's just like a uh, media file, it looks like that, but the Chinese version. And basically just download the app. From there, install it into your phone. It, the app is safe. I have scanned it with a virus scanner. Check where it's got no virus on, so the app is safe. So here it is on my phone. It is called Smartwatch, and it's just a real simple app. Just allows you to basically set up your Bluetooth with the watch uh, settings. So that's basically settings on your phone, not onto, not on the actual device. Then it's got the App Store. Uh, I wouldn't use that because it's only got eBooks on. And it's not a it's not uh, the actual genuine app store, so like a Chinese version. So I wouldn't recommend using that. Uh, and also, it's got app push, and basically this allows it to you to set what notifications can go through to your smartwatch. So basically, say if I wanted Facebook only notifications, I could set that up using the app push, and basically it'll only allow notifications from uh, Facebook to be sent to the to the watch. So basically that's the app, it's a real simple app, nothing complicated to set up. All you have to do is pair your device with this and basically Bluetooth will have to stop on the phone, obviously, for the watch to work. So as you can see the watch is really nice, it's really simple, uh, basically it has some apps on. So as you can see it's got the Bluetooth settings actually on the device itself. It's got a dollar, so that allows you to type numbers in and call it via using the watch instead of the phone. It's also got a messaging so you can read all the text messages. So you should be able to, I believe, so you can basically actually read all your text messages through the watch instead of the phone. And also it has a music app so you can control your music using the watch. I will give you a quick preview of that in a second. Also it has call logs so you can view uh, your last calls and stuff like that. It has a notifier so you can view your history of notifications. So like I said on Facebook, you can be able to see what Facebook notifications have got. The camera app, I will give you a preview of that also. So let's have a look at the music app. The music app is really simple. It's nothing complicated. It's just a play, a next and a previous button. I would like it to be a bit more advanced, but it's okay as it is. So the volume goes up to seven. The speaker on this watch it's okay, but it's not the best. It could be better, but as I say, I'm not really going to use this speaker on the watch. What I'm more likely going to do is plug my headphones into my phone and just use that as basically a navigator. Instead of messing with my phone, I can just click on my watch. So I'll give you a quick test of the speakers on here. And there you go. As you can hear now, you can hear it playing through the speakers. So what I'm going to do is just pause that. So that is basically the music app. It's really simple, nothing too complicated about play, next and previous button. Uh, also if you want to change the volume, turn it up and down, you can do that by pressing the sort of like sort of dots going up and down and basically to get but to get return is the turn arrow and then to actually get on from the watch face you press the that button. Okay so once you've been on the music app you will need to disconnect it uh, if you want to use another app on the watch so as I say so I've just been listening to the music, stop the music I want to go onto the camera. It will say disconnect BT uh, Bluetooth music. Uh, what you do is just press the menu button and that accepts it and then it will switch to the camera app. So as you can see the camera app is really cool. The actual watch doesn't have a camera on so that's why it uses the, the phone camera. It's a really cool thing say if you're in a concert and you can't see your phone because you're lifting the camera up you can use a watch to see what you're doing. So also it has a it has a couple of little other apps like a power saver, ringtones and settings like a uh, the uh, type of face you can have on the clock, so clock type, you can change it to digital. I like the digital one, uh, that's the one but I prefer because it has the time and the date. I'll show that. Look, it has the time and the date. And then there is also some other apps like a stopwatch. Uh, I believe that is a uh, stepper, so it monitors your steps. And then it's got the dollar and the messaging. Uh, what I'm going to do is call my phone now and see what it looks like when somebody calls you and you have the watch on. So as you can see it comes up like that and all you do is press the green button and then 
as you can see, I've got the phone near me, so it's saying echoey, but you will be speaking through to through the watch microphone. That is the call. It's really simple, just a an answer and a decline or even a silent button. So you can put so you don't have to actually decline the person, you can just put it on silent. Now let's try the actual messaging app. So I'm just going to send me a text. And as you can see now it has showed up that I've received that text and it's just from my mum's phone saying hi. So you can't actually reply back on the watch, but you can actually call the person or you can delete the message or empty your whole inbox but you can't actually send a text back so that's a bit of a down, downfall of the watch so it's not full portability of a phone so you will actually actually if you want to send a text back you will have to actually get your phone out that's one of the downsides of the messenger but overall the watch is really great and basically i'm going to leave the video there hope you guys did enjoy it do go check DHgate down in the links below. These are the guys who provided me with the smartwatch and they also sell a lot of great stuff on their website. I will link the smartwatch also down below. I will link DHgate's website down below so you can go check out some other great items, what they sell and also all their socials and stuff so if you want to follow them or like them on Facebook. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Yeah, tech gamer, tech gamer, unboxing reviews and an entertainer with tutorials and gameplay. He's a technological guy going all the way with frequent videos always coming out. Click that subscribe button to see what he is all about. Like the video, share it with your friends. Drop a comment below where you can vent what you love and what you want to see next time. So tune in every week for the next time. I hope to see you around. Thanks for watching. Tech gamer on the rise, never stopping.